Hello. If you're like many teachers, you've probably asked your students this big question, what causes the moon to go through phases? And if your students are like most students, they'll probably come up with all kinds of ideas, like, uh, well, it's the Earth's shadow making the phases on the moon, or uh, clouds on the moon that make the phases, or even that the moon has one side that's light and one side that's dark, and when it rotates, well, that makes the phases. Well, getting them to understand what's really happening can be quite a challenge. You know, it takes some higher level thinking. You have to be able to think in three dimensions. My name is Greg Vogt, and I'm with the Center for Education Outreach at the Baylor College of Medicine. And I'd like to show you a very interesting and fun way to teach about moon phases. And it's quite effective for, to, to teach them how the phases actually occur. Now, you're going to need a little bit of equipment. You will need a powerful light. And I got this light at a hardware store for about $12 or $13. It's really inexpensive. It's a shop light. Or you can use a clamp lamp like this right here with a nice strong light bulb in it. You'll need to have a room that you can darken. And you're going to need to have a model of the moon. I made mine out of a styrofoam ball, and I just uh, shoved a stick in there and put some glue to hold it in place so I can hold it up nicely. And for the fun of it, I pressed my thumb in here to make moon craters all over it to make it more realistic. And then you're going to need a movie camera. And here's my small camera that works quite well, but you can also use a cell phone camera. So if we take all these things and get them set up in the room, we'll get them ready for you, and we'll show you how this all works. We'll be back later. Well, we're ready. We're in an unused conference room that doesn't have any windows. That makes it perfect. And we've turned off the lights and set up the sun, our, our powerful light. I've got my moon. I've got my camera. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hold this out at arm's length like this and in the sunlight and then use my camera to video what I see with my eyes. Now, in our model here, that's the moon. My head represents Earth. And off that way represents the sun, the light over there. So all I'm going to do is going to turn around in a circle and video what happens to the moon when I do that. Okay, here we go. We're going to go through about two months of moon phases here. I'm starting to move it in a counterclockwise direction. And I already see a phase we call a waning gibbous. Waning means that it's getting less and less. Now we're at last quarter. And then we're getting to waning crescent. And we're starting to approach the phase we call the new moon and that's new moon right now and we keep going and we're getting waxing meaning it's growing crescent first quarter waxing give us and we're back to the full moon we'll do it one more time here so here we go back full moon and we're going through the waning give us and then last quarter waning crescent New moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, and back to the full moon. Well, that was a lot of fun to do. And, uh, of course, your students are going to want to do this themselves and have a good time with it. So you don't have to have that big ball like we had in the room there. You can actually go to do this with a small ping pong ball on the end of a stick. And one of the good things about this is this is very inexpensive to make, easy to make, and you can get one for every student so they can all participate trying this very same activity. Now what you're going to need to do though is to prepare these, and this is something that you ought to do yourself, not have the students do, because it does involve fire. So I'm going to light a candle here, and I'm going to use that as a heat source to heat up. Well, you've got a couple of choices. If you have an ice pick, that works great. Or you can just take a nail and uh, hold it with the pliers. So I'll use the nail here, and I'm going to put it into the candle flame and get it nice and hot. Now I've got some ping pong balls here, and all I have to do is to put a hole for the ping pong ball. Well, using a hot nail is great because that'll just go right through. Now you know the ball is white all around except where the label is, so I'm going to push the, the nail into where the label is. So I think it's hot enough now, so here we go. And I just simply take that like that, and there it is, right in. Goes in like a hot knife through butter. Okay. Get rid of that. Then all you, you'll need is a, a skewer from the store. And you just simply put it in the hole like that and shove it in there. And you now have a moon on a stick. Trim it off like that. And you can make these very, very quickly. Now the idea or the good part about this is you can set up the same light in the room. And you can have all the kids standing up in different parts of the room. And then have them do the same thing where they move the moon around their heads. And their heads are the earth and they watch and see what happens with the lights and the phases that occur there. After they've got it, 
by doing the same thing you did with the camera, if they've got the idea in their head, then you can do a little bit of informal assess assessment that works really quite well. You can say to them, okay, everybody, turn your moon so that it's a full moon. And then you watch and see where the kids move the moon. And if you've got several that are pointing in a different direction than the rest of the group, uh, you may have to do a little more work with those students. So you can try have like a little game with them and say, now try a waxing crescent. And again, see where they all point. And that tells you if the students have got it or not. Well, it's a fun way to teach about the moon, and it also makes the video in particular makes a great little science fair project if a student needs that. So give it a try and have some fun. So long.